Hey, welcome back to my channel. This video is a bonus video because I felt a little bit ashamed that I didn't post last week, really. I wanted to have another one this week, you know, to sort of catch up. Uh, last weekend, I was not here because I was still in Frankfurt. I also visited the model show and basically this is a topic what I would like to talk about now. And this is also part of our job. We are always going there to see what the other brands are doing, get inspiration, also networking, meet with colleagues and sort of things. It's always a nice event to hang out. There have been always the largest model show in Europe. So Frankfurt was always famous about that it's the largest. You literally walking and walking and walking and never getting to the end. And even the whole exhibition area is just so large that you you have to just walk and walk and walk so I'm super excited to be here and it's really really huge I'm, I'm walking already like like kilometers away just just to guess a little bit how, how huge is this it's just like look this map so it's 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 massive uh, I think they have um, like nine no eleven 11 uh, different uh, different locations when you can when you can check the cars this year the show was very very small when I got there I found the first exhibition hall with BMW and Hyundai inside um, also I think Land Rover were in the same same hall and uh, I said okay let's check out the map and find out where the other brands are but there was not really other brands except uh, the Volkswagen group, the VW a group with Audi, Lamborghini, with the Porsche um, and of course Mercedes. There were Chinese brands there like uh, Wei and, and Biden. Um, but no Italian brands, no French brands. All the biggest brands like Toyota, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, Citroën, Peugeot, Renault, they were just simply not there. They stayed away this year from the International Motor Show in Frankfurt. Also, for example, Mercedes, they always have their own exhibition hall and they always have some, some fun way to go to the cars. Normally you have to go up with the stairs and then you have to go around and they have different levels. Also, this hall was like 30% smaller. Uh, you could see um, that they cut away the area where they show the cars. And that was for me very shocking. I saw a few articles about that topic but they were not really bring up uh, the situation. Obviously, our industry is changing. All the car companies have massive pressure to find out new technologies, to reduce emission, have electric cars, also autonomous cars, that, of course, low emission is the most important thing at the moment. And we have massive pressure. Climate activists had a massive protest and they blocked the entrance of the motor show. And this never happened before, um, how activists used basically the show criticizing the whole car industry and also pushing for changes. Something new have to come. I always have a feeling that we really stuck somewhere in the 20th century and not really catching up with the new technologies and maybe this is the turning point maybe this is the turning point for electric cars for the future mobility so maybe also this is the reason why the visitors were only just over half a million people over the 10 days of the show so not so many people visited the show this year they really have to change how they do the exhibition the car companies are much more open to arrange events for the press privately and I think this is the future. I think the company is going to launch the new models in private events in some beautiful locations, you know, somewhere like in South Africa or South of Italy when they invite the journalists and, and having this pride of event only for the press. And maybe the show is just going to be a sort of exhibition. I think Having motor shows is still important. 
especially for people who are not working in the industry and they don't see the cars um, during the work or or they don't have a chance to to go to this uh, event when they relaunching the cars so I think for the public it's super nice to go there to real to really see the car one to one when it's just standing there you can maybe go there open the door touch the material see all the highlights I have to say this is the main reason why I always love to go to motor shows and I think you have to go if you're a designer because you cannot judge if you see a picture. And there you go. Here is this massive, massive grill. I mean, I have to say, I think on the pictures look even more unproportioned. In reality, it's a bit better. <laughs> but still, it's really a statement. I truly believe if you see a picture on internet, you cannot see how the car really looks like. You cannot really see those proportions. You know, you have to see the car in real life. And, and I would not take this experience away from the people that they can visit a motor show and enjoy it. Of course, also not from the young generation. And you're so excited when you're a kid and you just go to the motor show and and oh and I finally see these beautiful cars and you can open it and really sit inside and, and grab the steering wheel and it's just such a nice feeling. You cannot have this online just going through on this YouTube videos, let's say, um, and just see the cars there. I think it's still important, but like everything now in car industry, also this is changing. And I thought maybe it's important to talk about this because I was there um, because of my work, because um, I really wanted to see all the cars. And then, then I was disappointed and I also thought maybe it's an important topic to talk about apart from the, the new models. I also wanted to say, if you visited the show this year, please leave a comment below because I also would like to hear your opinion. So really that was just this for today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this topic because I felt we are not really bring this topic up. And I also wanted to share my experience uh, in Frankfurt with you guys. So I hope you like this little bit bonus video today and uh, I'm coming back very soon to you next week and see you soon.